Greetings from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to the GSL Code S. I'm Tasteless, and with me is Artosis. And uh, we've come quite a ways in this tournament. We've seen a lot of upsets, a lot of up and downs yeah. for these players, and we've got some pretty cool games uh, for you guys today. That's right. Uh, a little stat. Thank you to Polarius1. This guy is the stat guy, my official GSL stat guy. <laughs> Half of each race went up, and half of each race went down. I saw that. First time ever. Yeah, it was pretty interesting, actually, to see those statistics. And we, we don't get that kind of stuff out here handed to us. So uh, thank you for sending that in. Of course, uh, this is the GSL, the biggest, bestest show on earth. Not just eSports show, any kind of show. And I want to thank our production staff for giving us these chairs. Previously, we were in these stools, and uh, yeah. my legs were falling asleep when no, I casted. I this guy was actually standing up and jogging in place while casting. I was. I was. He was doing some I was in a lot of things. pain. He and was doing my... some yoga. He was doing some of these stretches. He's like twice hit the foot, twice hit yeah. his foot. Yeah, I had to get the then circulation. Spreads the legs, twice so, in the middle. Thank you for uh, getting us these chairs. Makes the casting go a lot more smoothly. Um, so uh, let's go over you know what we have or who we have playing today. Our first game is going to be a Terran versus Terran. It's going to be Supernova against OGS Top. Actually, both these guys on OGS. Top is, I think, one of the more interesting players when you look at his play style because yeah. he's somebody who, if you're watching and you don't get to see any of the stats about who is mining more, who has more of what, it looks like Top's losing the whole time, and then he wins. And he wins because he's actually just producing more stuff. Yeah. Even though he makes bad choices. He's got some pretty sick macro. Like, if you are yeah. someone that comes from StarCraft 1 background and you, like, know how to pick someone who's going to be good in a year, like, not just good, but, like, hey, this guy's going to be top four Star League in a year. Yeah. He's exactly who you would pick. Like, Absolutely. The exact person you're like, oh, my God, this guy is going to be so good. StarCraft 2? We'll see. I think it's going to turn out the same. I think this guy is going to be like a true contender in a few more seasons. Right now, already, he's so good, man. Like I think he's going to take this match against Supernova. You know, Supernova, I don't think his Terran versus Terran is really uh, his best matchup. Yeah, no, in... he's he's like the best TVP player in the world, if I may say so. Uh, well, he's hold pretty on. sick, man. I'm going to go ahead and give that to Thorzane. But <laughs> uh, after Thorzane, I'm going with Supernova, man. I think... Um... I think it's not going to be an easy matchup for Supernova, but you know what's weird about this is that they're both on the same team. And when you're on the same team, there's a lot more yeah. mind games that we don't really get to see because we don't watch them train together. Sometimes they deviate from their normal build orders to try to throw the opposing player off. Um, so there's going to be a lot of mind games. I mean, my closest experience to this was when I had to play against my brother uh, in a big tournament, WCG05. And we didn't know we were playing against each other until about a week before the tournament, hmm. which was terrible. So we knew all of each other's strats, and um, you know that's a pretty difficult position to be in because you, you end up asking yourself, do I actually want to do the standard stuff I was practicing? I'm probably better at doing that, but what if he knows that I'm going to do that? So we might have that a in lot this of case, too. Games. Top is one of the better Terran versus Terrans on OGS. Yeah. And Nada yeah. as well. But, and that means he's probably been teaching uh, Supernova a lot. So the question is, is you know, That's what are the point. practice game results? And, of course, um, you know, is Todd going to try to mix it up? We're going to see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. As you can see here, day one, uh, round of 16. Yes. We will have Supernova against Top, then MVP against Nada. I mean, Genius against Nada, I'm sorry. MVP against Nada. I'm, like, just reading it all completely wrong. <laughs> I read it backwards and stuff. I'm like, ew, and they're plop. That's PultPrime.we against SC Foyu. I'm Lucira <laughs> against Slayers Alicia. Uh, I am actually in love with some of these matches today. And then tomorrow, or well, two days from now, TSL Clyde against TSL Killer. SD Virus against OGS Inca, the man who almost did not make it here. <laughs> and no kidding. Nesty check out those games, Fruit that Dealer. last game. No, don't check that out, man. We make the wrong call all game long because it's the right call. And then any Pro Prime, once again hitting July. Will July put an end to his path? Yeah, we're going to find out. It's going to be probably. Pretty, probably. Based upon what we saw last time, man, probably. most definitely. <laughs> By the way, special thanks to our sponsors at LG, G Skill, and Intel for making this event possible. We are getting more and more sponsors, more and more viewers taking over the world. Please uh, get on your instant messenger, get on the forums, not just the StarCraft forums, because everybody's on the StarCraft forums is already watching. Uh, get on the they other forums and spread the word. Oof. Yeah, well, can you imagine being on the StarCraft forums and not like watching GSL? Like, you no, serious I, jobber. I don't watch GSL. I'm not so into that. Those two companies, they rub me the wrong way. <laughs> 
We, uh, I try to go with the grain, nerds. Yeah, we try. We try our best. By the way, feel free to add GoomTV.net on Twitter. It's actually GoomTVNet on Twitter. Uh, that's the GoomTV's official no Twitter. On Twitter. There's no dots. No. And I add me on Call Me Tasteless and at Artosis. Artosis has been streaming some games. Having some fun watching those. That's right. I always post about on my Twitter. I need to start doing that. that sometime in the future. I'm posting some music. People were asking me today, man, while I was streaming. They were just, where's the tasteless stream? The tasteless stream. Uh, right now, I, I want to see them hide cannons. <laughs> I've been actually playing too many fighting games lately. But I, I, uh, if I get better and back in shape, I'll start streaming for you guys. So our first player, we talked a little bit about this guy before, OGS Supernova. Five and four against Terran recently. Uh, his, his Terran versus Terran, a little bit below his other matchups. I feel like he's a TVP God, uh, a TVZ Saint, and then just a regular guy TVT. That's the way I feel. Yeah, I mean, he's not bad at it, but you know, when you're in Code S, you know, compared to his other matches, uh, comparatively it looks bad, but it's really, really good. Yeah, and I mean, he's got good teachers. OGS is a pretty big team. I always refer to them as the Hollywood Undead of StarCraft teams. There's so many members of that, I lose count. Yeah. And now on to our other player, OGS Top. I think the most defining uh, factor with this player, I think hands down, is his ability to macro, his ability to produce, a manage economy. I think his biggest weakness is the fact that he seems to make these major blunders, bad decisions. However, his ability to control an economy seems to sort of outweigh anything else that matters. So obviously we see him play these sloppy games and he still wins. That is very true, and I think that's probably exactly what we're about to see against Supernova. Uh, notice his win percentage is much better than Stank. Yes. Seven wins, three his losses. losses to players like Nada and Ryung, like the best TV tiers. So yeah, I mean, there's no shame in losing to those You have guys. to be like a sicko to take this guy out of TV So here they are, Supernova top teammates, brothers in arms, brothers in race, not brothers in real life. No. Not exactly. Our map is going to be Metalopolis. Pretty standard map. Usually leads for some uh, split map games. Since we did fix the starting location, so you can't both be sharing the upper left or the lower right. Greatest thing anyone ever did. Yeah, thank God. There was nothing more hellish than playing Zerg and be like, oh, the Terran is close to me. Oh, the Protoss <laughs> is close to me. All right, the game is loading. It's time to start today's round of 16 matches, our first series. Of the round of 16, head-to-head, -head, OGS Supernova against OGS Top. Two teammates battling it out. Only one will move on. Let's see who that's going to be here at the GSL. Supernova versus OGS Top. All right, head to head here. In the left, we have one of the two OGS members in this one on one match. Making his depot in a pretty sexy location. <laughs> in between the cats. OGS Supernova. And where, where do we rate him on that? Uh, I was I'd actually say laughing too hard at the depot placement. I'm sorry. That is sexy placement. Thinking of you telling a story about the noobs are they're like, like, they're going to well, block it. It's going to block a gas. No. And I sink it. And they're like, oh. But now, between the gases. Over here, in the bottom center, best macro in the world. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ha. I liked it. That top was, was good. good at that one. Took notes from Nada. Mm. That's what happened. Not as a killer, man. And the he ones is. with not a year, you know, he's a 12 out of 10. So you would be great the girl on that one. Well, that's why I've officially nicknamed Nada the Renaissance Nerd. He is. That man. is his nickname. He's the Renaissance Nerd. You he's know, good. for these. And good. it actually kind of fits because the Renaissance, it's like suddenly it goes from like dirty knights dying of the plague at 30 and stuff to like it's cool to be smart and talented at drawing and like playing music. And poetry right? and stuff, yeah. But Nada, he's like a nerd and. He's, he's, like, so cool because, you know, here he is. He's, like, ripped, and, you know, it, it's, like, the opposite. I don't know. It's the opposite. That's why he's, he's like, good at all this other stuff, man. He can, like, dunk a basketball. Yeah. And he can kick a field goal, you he know? Can, he can put you or me in a headlock and choke us out. He can lift more. He can bench more than just the bar. It's, like, <laughs> that is a renaissance nerd right there. So it looks like they're both going to go for uh, refinery builds at the start. And um, we well, probably... <laughs> 
Boy, what is so funny? I'm so There's nothing funny about me saying that. No, 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 no. I, I just thought of like the most terrible pun, and I'm just gonna let it be. All right. Yeah, some of the stuff I think so, I want to say in the cast, I probably. Well, you know, we're actually not censored in any way here, but we want to kind of keep it classy. <laughs> Someone's got to give Jay a little button where he goes, like, <laughs> stop you guys from hearing some of these terrible puns that come to our minds. Factory uh, on the way for both. So the beards, the builds, I just called it beards for some reason. The builds <laughs> thus far, pretty similar with the exception of the uh, non-refinery here for... Well, Supernova. You're right on both cases because their beards are very similar, and that's being non existent. That's true. They're both very uh, smooth baby faces. You want me to blow your mind? Yeah. Most of my facial hair is on my neck, but if it's on my neck, is it really my facial hair? <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Yeah. Case has got his sweat beard going on. Think about that one. So they have deviated now. Uh, we do have for top. The reactor going up, that means it's probably going to be Banshee. And, well, we already know that it's going to be Blue Flame Aliens for Supernova. But do we see a starport anywhere for Supernova? And the answer to that, Tasis, is no. Just look on the map. You can see for yourself. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry for asking so many stupid questions. Sorry, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> but it looks like he's just going to do some pressure with Marines and Blue Flame Aliens. So he's going to rally out and see what he can get done. Top, on the other hand, is just making Marines. So... You know, if he hits this timing before any sea chains are out, which it looks like he will, by the fact that the infernal pre-igniter is already halfway done, uh, it could be pretty hard for Top to hold. Well, you know, one thing about doing the blue flame Hellion drop in these spots is it's well, fairly it's, predictable. It's not going to be the drop, though. No, I know, but that's what oh, I'm saying okay. is that's why we're not... It's, it's good he's not doing that. If he was doing that... Uh, you know, it's the same in StarCraft 1, for instance, in PvP, when they're going to go Reaper drop in close proximity. Yeah. It's like, well, I just it's good, but you just make Dragoons, and or if you're Terran, you, know, you just make a Wraith, and you're yeah. like, oh, no. I was just going to say that. Yeah. When I'm close slots against Tasis, I make a Wraith, man. <laughs> I catch that shuttle. You have before. So right now we have top faking Cloak by getting Caddius Reactor. Uh, Blue Flame just finishing up now. Looks like it's going to be his timing to hit, but a Sea Shank's about to pop out, so this may not work out very well. And here we go. Blue Flame's coming up. Whoa, that was uh, pretty oh, slow. Oh, man, there by Supernova. He had the Hellions in the front. The Marines are supposed Whoa. to be the ones tanking the damage. That was that um, was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Tasteless. He snarfed that one up. Snarf. we got to get up his ramp. Snarf. We have I tops. <laughs> Top's uh, Banshee now. is coming. Three Marines are out, and there is a Viking on the way, so he's just going to stall this out with these Marines. A little bit of a miss micro there by Top, but he did uh, win that skirmish. But don't forget, Super oh. does have a command center. Oh. Intercepted. Oh, pretty sick. Sandwiched it with the Marines. Made a Banshee sandwich. Now we see uh, he's going to go for a switch. Now remember, he upgraded the Caddius uh, upgrade for the Banshee. Although it would have looked like he was going cloak, so now he can crank out double medevacs. Well, he. Oh no, so he's gonna go for Vikings now, too. Yeah, he, he moved the thing, so he must have canceled it. Oh, it's it terrible. To, I like miscast that. <laughs> Arthos has to try to, like, save me out of that one. I'm, like, trying oh, so no. hard. I'm, I'm like, what giving has he you done now? Like, why don't you keep on, on your sign language lessons? I'm trying <laughs> to tell you while you're talking. <laughs> All right, so we have Top. He's moving out. He has a couple siege tanks. What does Supernova have to hold this off? He has one siege tank of his own. He has a decent amount of Marines. He does have a single Blue Flame Hellion. If, if Top does this right, he can actually do a ton of damage. Yeah, he certainly depends on where he decides to attack. Uh-oh. <laughs> three oh. three uh, Vikings against one. Let me see how that goes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. He wants to splash those Marines. Oh, Dude, he just got like six got Marines. Six Marines. I'm counting their carcasses, Tasteless. Six yep. of them. Mass grave right there on Metalopolis, top of the building. It's going to be in every paper in the city below. <laughs> now, he's in board with the siege tanks here. He's not quite in range. Well, I guess oh, he's in the tanks now. And this is going to be a lot of damage. We're going to lose that siege tank.